how are mortgage rates calculated? So it is a very complicated question just because there's multiple factors that drive rates up or drive rates down. The biggest misconception is the feds. The feds meet every month. And like you mentioned, with inflation being high, what are they doing? They are increasing the prime rate to try to bring inflation down. Mm -hmm. Our phones as loan officers blow up when they hear rates went up a quarter of a point. That prime rate went up a quarter of a point. Keep in mind, that has no bearing on first mortgage interest rates. Typically, though, or those affect the prime rate affects credit cards, car mm -hmm. loans, home equity line of credits. So keep that in mind that the Fed rate does not... And them increasing it does not increase the 30 year fix for the first mortgage. Um, yeah. Now, typically it's baked in already because the, the bond market is already estimating what the feds are going to be doing before they meet. So they already predict like rates are going to go up a quarter of a point. So that could affect rates two to three weeks ahead of the feds meeting. Mm. And obviously loan programs determine what type of rate you have, all of that money down, credit scores, et cetera. Got it. If you're a little bit of, I guess, a geek and you like to track certain things, I think normally uh, like clockwork and not always probably to the T, uh, but it, the 10 year treasury is usually if interest rates, mortgage interest rates are going up or down really is dependent on the 10 year treasury. So I know personally for me, every morning, I jump on and I just go to Google and I literally type in 10 year treasury. And I think it's market rate or market watch that comes up and I can kind of see what the 10 year treasury's doing. Yes. Thank you for bringing that up because I forgot to mention the 10 year treasury. Mm. That is the driving force on interest rates. This mm. can change every day, multiple times a day. Like you said, that's something you monitor. That's something mm. I monitor every morning also. So I can advise clients is it good to, Float your rate where we're not locking that in because mm -hmm. rates could get better. Or, you know, if it starts down, hey, we better lock this rate in because rates could go up because the bond market does drive that. So, yeah. usually when I, I'm going to call it anything that would be negative in the news, uh, I know specifically today they released some jobs report. Yesterday uh, they put out the CPI, which is a consumer price index. I would say usually it seems like when things get worse or quote unquote rates get better um when the economy is showing any as right now which is seems counterintuitive any signs of strength or things that are positive um mortgage rates tend to tend to go up so yes, you're right recession times typically rates go down mm -hmm. when the economy's thriving there's a lot of money out in the market guess what inflation goes up interest rates go up so okay it, it follows the same curve in and out. And there are a lot of predictions of a recession coming up. So fingers crossed, and we'll get into this a little bit later.